Okay, so let's start this video from uh, where we actually left the previous video. So as I told you that if you have to create your own Docker image, then the process for doing that is that you create a Docker file. And once you have created a Docker file, then you create your own image. And to create your own image, Docker has given us the Docker build command. In that, we have to specify a certain tag, like we are saying custom MySQL, and you give colon 1.0, which indicates that it is the uh, version 1 of your, um, of your image. And then we could use either Docker run command, or as we will see in this demo, we will make use of the Docker compose uh, YAML file, and we'll just add the entries into it and get our container up and running. So let's see how uh, we need to get uh, this done. So what I'll do, I'll go to my terminal session and I'll just show you a few um, important scripts that I have created and I will be putting these scripts uh, in the resource section of the course as well. So what I've done is I have created a Docker file. So all you have to do is you have to just simply go to the VI editor and do a VI Docker file, right? And in that, what I have done is, as I showed you in the previous um, video, that you have to uh, give uh, basically a source from where you are building your image. So, okay, you're creating your own image, but this image itself would be based on some other image. So all I'm saying is, I'm saying from MySQL 802. So in a way, I'm saying that my starting point for this image would be the MySQL uh, image, which is uh, of version or with tag 8.0.2. Then I also want uh, that a blogs database should be created automatically. So as soon as anybody uh, creates a container out of this image, then the blogs database should be created. Now, what I've done is I've actually uh, created a couple of uh, scripts and I've kept it under the scripts directory. And uh, these are like a create table, uh, which will actually just simply create a blog table. And then I have uh, some insert statements, which will actually insert data into the blog table. And as uh, it clear, as I clear told you previously, any scripts that you copy to the Docker entry point in its db.d will be automatically executed as soon as the container is started. So uh, what I've done is I've also given a copy command and said that please copy all the scripts uh, which are there in the scripts directory to this Docker entry point in it db.t. Okay, so I believe this is all good. So this is my Docker file. Then uh, as I uh, told you that I will have a scripts folder. So I've created a scripts folder in that I've just kept a couple of scripts. One is a create table.sql and other is the insert underscore data.sql. So let's take a look into each of these. So what exactly is a create table.sql doing? Create table.sql is doing nothing but creating a simple blog table, which will have a blog ID, a blog category, like if it's Oracle, MySQL, uh, Terraform, what, what, what is the category of blog? The name of the blog, it could be, um, what is the, I would say, the blog all about. Then the rating of blog, like people rate your blogs, it could be a four star, three star, four and a half star, so it's something like that. Then what I've done is then I've actually inserted the data. In that, I've just added some sample data, where as you can see, insert into blog values, and I'm just giving a few values. So let's actually change these. I guess I've kept everything as this. So let me quickly change it to three, four, and five, right. Okay, good. So uh, as you can see, uh, I've uh, uh, added these uh, specific uh, um, items, uh, which is uh, the blog ID, the category of the blog, the name of the blog, and the rating of the blog. So this is all done, all good. And now uh, we come back, and since we have the Docker file, we simply need to use the Docker build command. So we say Docker build, and then I'll say minus T, and I have to give a name of the image and tag of the image. So let's say I call it custom MySQL IMG standing for the image. And I say colon 1.0, right? So all I'm saying is please build a image for me called custom MySQL image based on the Docker file that I have given you. So let's see what happens. So, okay, okay, you have to put a dot as well. So, yeah, 
So see what happens. It actually creates uh, these steps for you. So as I told you initially that whenever you create images, image is nothing but a set of layers or steps that you have to go through. In this, you can see the step number one is from MySQL 802, which indicates that my starting image or starting point is the MySQL image 802. Then the second step is environment variable MySQL database. So we want that the MySQL database um, blogs should automatically be created. And the third step is copying of all the scripts, which are like the create table and insert table into the uh, Docker entry point in it.t. So let's uh, do a Docker images and see if our image is uh, now there or not. Yes, nice one. See, uh, the Docker build has actually built an image for us, which shows created time as 43 seconds ago. And my image tag is 1.0 and the custom my SQL IMG is my, is my image. It's all good. So now we have two options. Either we can actually do a Docker run uh, command and uh, create a container out of this image, or we could do a better way. As I told you, uh, what happens in the industry is you have a Docker compose YAML file, YAML file, and you might remember that we had created a service. So right, and we shall paste it here. Okay, and we call this uh, service as say custom MySQL container. I'll say custom underscore MySQL underscore container. Uh, now image, image would be my image, the custom image that I created. Uh, I could, my custom image name is custom my sql underscore img colon 1.0 okay in environment variable we have to specify the my sql root password we don't specify the database because that would be created as part of the docker file that we've given and we specify the ports maybe i could do something like 3316 probably uh, mapping to 3306 so 3306 of the container is mapped to 3316 now again we need to check the indentation is correct or not so quickly take a look if this looks right uh, yeah image should be under image this looks okay environment should be under environment and mysql is fine ports uh, it's it's uh, looking okay to me so yeah so uh, what we have done is we are saying that please create a container uh, or create a service, I would say, with a name as custom MySQL container. And image would be my custom image, which is custom MySQL IMG uh, colon 1.0. Environment is MySQL. Root password is MySQL 007. And the ports uh, I have defined. So let's um, try and do a Docker compose up and see what happens. So what what will happen is it will actually now start looking at the Docker Compose and see. OK, so it, it says found some often containers. Maybe there was a, a previous one which I removed or renamed. And uh, that's fine because I was I was playing around with that. So I actually created it. But yeah, the main thing is that it has actually picked the new configuration. And this is what we are interested in, which is the uh, custom MySQL container underscore one. So this is the one uh, that we gave and we are interested in. So it, it started building it. So let's give it some time. Okay. Okay, these are the, this is the commands that are actually running in the background. Here you can see the names of the containers, like this was the previous one, because see what has what happens is when you give a Docker Compose up, it actually just goes through uh, the uh, Docker Compose YAML file and see, looks for any changes. So this is for a different container and this is for our container. So here you can see the database is initialized and I can see the MySQL init process is in progress. And you'll also see uh, that, the the table that the, tab, uh, the uh, 
table uh, that we gave uh, because we are interested in that the tables uh, uh, the, the table should be created and the data should be inserted as well so here you can see uh, it says the mysql is ready for connections so we are all good to connect and let's see um, how it looks so i'll create another window right so i'll give a docker ps when I do a Docker PS, I can see this is the one that I created just now because it shows up uh, about a minute ago. So what I'll do is I'll uh, go to this Docker exec minus IT, which is an interactive terminal, and I give uh, the name of uh, the Docker, uh, the container, and I say bash. Right. So I am uh, actually, once I do this, then I'm inside the container, then I assume MySQL minus user, right? and I'm inside it. I do a show databases first of all and I want to see whether my database blogs is there or not yes nice one my database is there so I do a use blogs okay so it says uh, reading uh, table information for completion of table and column tables and it says database change then I say select star from blog because you might remember that we created uh, yes see that's cool so whatever we gave instructions in the docker file based on that the image was created and when we actually created our container all that information was picked and see if you see here uh, the data that was there in the cre uh, the insert uh, table uh, records they they are actually being inserted into the blog table and it's, it looks pretty good as you can see i have the blog id category name and rating and all the data is intact so guys, this actually shows you the entire demo end to end, how you can actually build your containers from your custom my uh, from your custom images. So in this video, we saw how you can first of all create your own image. Once you have created your own image, then you can either use Docker Run, as I told you, or uh, you can use the industry standard Docker Compose YAML file and build a container out of your uh, custom uh, built image. Thanks for watching.